Now that we know how to create a branch with the get branch command, I'll go ahead and create a branch. And uh, check out into that branch with git checkout. And so uh, I've created a branch and I've moved my working, uh, what I'm working on into that branch with the git checkout command. And so git checkout is how you change back and forth um, between branches. And so I've got a Gudmastead branch and I currently have a main branch. And so you can see the two branches there. So I can git checkout back into main and back out into Gudmastead branch. Um, now when I work on code, this code uh, is only available on Gudmastead branch. And so if I save that, now I need to commit it. So I'll do a git commit uh, and I'll do an add and a message at the same time. Um, first commit on Gudmastead branch. And so uh, I've now added some content on on this branch and if I switch back into the main branch get checkout in main and I can look at my source code there you can see that that change is not applied until uh, we learn to merge those changes back into the main branch so uh, those changes are only available on that Gudmastead branch and like I said, what we have left to do is merge the two. It's also worth noting that in Visual Studio, you can see in VS Code, you can see your different branches uh, and you can switch back and forth just by using Visual Studio. So if I open up this file uh, and I switch between my branches, you can see that the, the code only exists in the code, the, the update, the commit only exists in that branch. So that's a really nice feature to be able to switch back and forth in VS Code uh, between your branches.